boy, have I got a special treat for me. And it's so special that I'm, I'm very anxious to share it with you. Uh, I want to share with us um, an ukulele that was made by Chuck Moore. Uh, you know, and Chuck is one of those very, very recognizable names in the world of ukulele because of the quality of instruments that he makes. And I'd like to, I'd like to share this instrument with you. Um, first of all, the wood is is all koa, uh, and as I turn this around, you can see that uh, that uh, he has uh, um, a side port. Uh, on this ukulele. And for those of you who are uh, maybe uh, unfamiliar with side ports, the reason why I like them a lot is that in the playing position, what the side port does is to focus some of the sound up uh, to the player. I, I kind of like that. It's kind of like almost like your, your own personal sound system. Uh, <clears throat> and then all koa, all beautiful koa, I should say, uh, like I mentioned earlier. And <clears throat> one thing about uh, the, this uh, tree, uh, this tree on the headstock, uh, is that it points out again how wonderful, uh, what a wonderful artist, I should say, Chuck Moore is in portraying uh, uh, the things that he puts on the headstock. But you know what the most special thing about this ukulele is? It's sound. Uh, we hear so much about the Chuck's wonderful work um, in, in inlays. Uh, but it's just wonderful to take an ukulele that's been around like this one has um, and has had opportunity open up and open up to the point where I find this sound very, very appealing. Why? It's nice and mellow, not high and bright, uh, not low and muddy, just wonderfully mellow, which is the kind of sound that I prefer. In addition to this, one of the things that has been uh, happened with this ukulele, uh, given its opportunity to open up, is that the sustain is above average uh, on this ukulele. So, one of the things that uh, appeals to me about this ukulele in terms of uh, the kind of sound uh, that I think uh, would be best on this ukulele, I would characterize that sound as being simple. Simple. And the reason, the reason I mention that is, you take something simple like a scale. If I add some harmony to that, I get this. You can see that harmony is very simple. I mean, I'm not holding any chords at all. It's just the scale. But I can take something that simple on a very responsive uke like this is and come up with something like this, which may sound familiar to you. First I play this, the scale. And now I play something else that may sound familiar to you. So let me let me let me play you a part of that song, uh, and and keeping things simple. And the reason why I do that is to let the ukulele breathe, and give this ukulele opportunity to express itself, rather than me as a player trying to like just just pound the ukulele into submission, which is not good for a quality instrument like this. Love and Rose.
Chuck Moore. You should play this ukulele. <laughs>